I got my swimsuit on, and we are ready to go in the water. So, I'm getting in the water. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Well, the Home Depot is very nice. Great accommodations for the evening. Yeah, it's dry. That's all I care about. Yeah, it's dry. We're not going to have a storm surge and whatever else, but we made it. We're good. Tomorrow's Molly's birthday, so we still don't know what we're going to... Yeah, we'll come up with something, though. We will. We'll come up with something. We're camping with our buddies, rolling homies, and now <sighs> we're going to go to bed. Good night. Oh my goodness, so we woke up to like these flashing lights and this noise and there's a stock person coming to grab mulch from over there. It's 11 o'clock. I had no idea that they worked that late. Now we're gonna try and get to sleep. I hope they don't work too much longer. Well, it's a little after 7 a.m. and the bus is rocking back and forth. I was woken up with the rocking. Theodore's not really sure what's going on. I can't sleep. Eli can't sleep. Anymore. How are you feeling over there? We're just going to keep watching it because we're moving this way. So we haven't seen any tornadoes, but the street lights just went off. Coming down pretty hard. Can't really see outside much. Oh, there's lightning. Bus is shaking back and forth. It's a really bad storm. I think Theodore is scared too. We survived the storm, which is really good. That is beneficial to survive a storm. But today is a really important day. And for whatever reason, all of our kids' birthdays, Eli's was spent at the mechanics, Molly's is spent weathering a storm. You know, it just makes it that more special. What day is it? It's my birthday. Your birthday. How old are you turning? Nine. Nine, high five. We're gonna go have some fun today, right? What are we doing? We have no idea, but we're yeah. gonna go have some fun. Yeah. We got her cake yesterday, because we knew we wouldn't be able to get it today. In and the storm. giant present. She's got a giant present up here. Kyle is supposed to be making her her birthday pancakes. She wanted a birthday breakfast. So we gotta get Kyle out of bed to make said hungry. birthday breakfast. Because the birthday girl's hungry. Well, Kyle's finally awake. Finally. Oh my God, it's early. How was your night? It didn't get nasty till like a couple hours ago. Yeah, I know. And I still can't freaking talk. Now it's Molly's birthday, so she gets to open her present. Okay, here I go. What? Ma Why did you? That's too big. That's too big for me. Ah! Oh, Mom. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Mom. Oh my goodness, that's, I'm gonna borrow that one. No, you're not. Uh, oh, a new jacket. You're making the birthday girl birthday pancakes? That's the plan. If I'll get this out of your face, so you can actually make them. The sun is shining, which means we are back on schedule. We've called several places to see if they're open for Molly's birthday, and most of them are actually closed until the weekend. Jenny and Mike just drove back down to the beach in their Jeep so they can see how the beach is, see if we can go park back on it. And once they get back, then we're going to make our mind up what we're gonna do. Plan A is to go back to the beach, go play, go have fun with Molly all day, let her build sandcastles and all the things. All depends on when Jenny and Mike get back, seeing how the beach is. But right now, Molly's gonna show you her new present. I'm a newbie. That's okay. If you guys put your tips, comment down below. 
Whoa, cool, Moss. Way to go. All right, guys, we are rolling out of the Home Depot here. Um, <clears throat> glad we did. Our friend Michael and Jenny went over this morning to check it out. And the water did get pretty high, so I think we made the right call. Sorry, my voice is still a little better, but not 100%. We're actually gonna head back over there today, though. We really like it over there. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny. It's warm, so we'll actually be able to use, use the beach. So we're probably gonna go back over there and just stay out the rest of the time we had already planned on staying. Um, so that's what we're doing now. They're gonna, they gotta fill up water and then they'll be headed that way. We're gonna head on over, probably get our same spot and uh, enjoy the beach for the day. It's a beautiful day out. We had a pretty rough patch this morning, I'd say for an hour or so. We had some pretty intense wind, but I think we were pretty fortunate overall to miss the majority of the, the big storm. So I'll take it. But we're gonna head that way and um, once I get over there, I'll pick you guys up. Sorry, my freaking GoPro, one of them, the SD's full. So it is what it is. Well, we made it back to the beach and this weather is beautiful. Jenny and Mike made it back too. Yay. It's Molly's birthday with her new Bucky swimsuit. I got my swimsuit on and we are ready to go in the water. I'm getting in the water but I'm gonna leave you here with Kyle so he can get some b-roll of all of us having fun while he's chilling in the shade. Never understood a word they said. Kept running in the woods alone instead. Somewhere, somehow, I guess I lost it all. Try to keep it up and standing tall. Why don't you stay? Stay, cause I could really use a friend. Stay, please stay, cause my heart really needs a man. Somewhere, exactly. So, what, what have you got going on here, dear? Some skittis. Some sketty. We've got regular pasta, gluten-free pasta. What is that special ingredient that you're adding tonight? Some new news Italian sausage. Where'd it go? It's cooking. Oh. Air frying. It's air frying. But where did we get that? New news. Where's new news? Uh, that is in Lafayette, Louisiana. We just went there, huh? Yeah, buddy. Kyle's gonna be making that. Look at my bus. Look at all this sand and crap. We haven't been able to find a place to throw the trash, so that's where the trash is sitting. But our view is incredible. <laughs> How's your spaghetti? It's actually not as good. What? <laughs> it's all right, but it's not as good as I usually make it. I don't know. The what sausage it, was really good. Was it? You don't I, like the sausage? I didn't buy the fettuccine noodles. Oh, know. that's probably why. You're a noodle snob. But this isn't this. Even though it looks like it, we're not eating in front of our bus. We're actually eating in front of Mike and Jenny's bus. And Oscar. In quite the fire right now. Yeah, we, we've got something going on. <laughs> got a smoky mess going on. Because of that. <laughs> because of all oh the gosh. smoke in your face right now? Good thing we moved it, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that definitely did the trick. Well, they are rolling homies, actually, and we just did a tour of their bus today. But I'm going to get over here and eat my gluten-free, dairy-free pasta. It's probably cold now. It's not that cold. It's fine. Shh. It's freezing out here though. But look at look at the view. Like this is incredible and I am here for it and I love it. And then there's there's Blue Betty. Oh, it should not take so long. That's what she said. I wonder why I think it's overvented. Mike is very determined to make this fire happen. Well, it was good all day. And somebody had to move it. And it wasn't a bad decision to move it. Like you should have moved the bus. I got the fire. I got it going at what 8 o'clock this morning. You like the fire? You look cold, babe. Wow, look what I'm wearing. Hey, I'm not even wearing my fur. <laughs> this is true. Jenny's been wearing her fur every day. I only wow, have Kyle, one... we just got butt crack in the shop. Like, lots of butt crack. We, uh, I only have on one pair of pants and no fur. Dang. I'd still rather be cold any day of the week than hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I oh, sweat oh, it. Hot. Especially at night when I'm trying to go to bed and it's all. Oh, that, I will agree with. I am. I will crank that air and drain the batteries. But now it's beautiful and gorgeous and I love it. Now this is pretty epic and magical. All at the same time. The sun's going down and I tell you what, this is 
<laughs> Beautiful. What do you think? Awesome birthday? Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yep. There's our friends Mike and Jenny. There's Blue Betty. And there's the sunset. Me and Kyle are gonna go on a little walk by ourselves. We need a little bit of alone time. So we're gonna go on our walk. That means you are gonna hang out in the bus with the kids. Okay. And we'll pick you up a little bit later. Well, Kyle and I were out walking on the beach tonight and look what we found. We found these monarch butterflies. There's one under here. They got washed into the waves. And so we've got them in here, just trying to like rehabilitate them for the night, I guess. We saved them because they were still moving. So we took them out of the wind and all the things. So hopefully in the morning, they're gonna do okay. I just felt so bad. Like I can't leave injured animals on the ground. We so a bird too. yeah, in Colorado, the Colorado snow, we rescued a bird and saved the bird. And so now we're rescuing some butterflies. So I'll update you in the morning how they're doing. For now though, I'm gonna go outside because Kyle is right over there hanging out and I wanna go hang out too. So I'm gonna leave these little guys in here. Hopefully they can like chill and hang out. And then tomorrow we'll be able to release them into back into the wild and they won't go flying into the ocean. At least we hope. watch the sunrise with me. Our friends are actually leaving today and so are we. We're headed to Waco, Texas. I hope you woke up in a great mood and you're doing well. If not, go take a quick walk wherever you are. Just go get out in nature. Go take a quick walk. That'll definitely help get your day started right. The sun's up. Beach is beautiful. I am making my breakfast right now, then the whole bus will start to wake up so we can get on the road. And I actually have a special treat for you today because I'm gonna try and drive. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. Julia Perez was last seen on March the 31st, 2022, missing from Mableton, Georgia, born on February 23rd, 2008, 14 years of age, Hispanic female, brown hair, brown eyes, four foot 11 inches tall and approximately 115 pounds. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Juliet, please reach out to the Cobb County Police Department at 770-499-3900. Let's see if we can try to help bring Juliet home.